What is up? I'm Juan Turtle, and today what we're going to do is opening two more of these Meowth VMAX boxes, and at the same time, we're going to discuss some of the new rules that got announced for the TCG. Uh, the reason I'm opening these boxes is because I actually want to try these two guys in a deck. Um, I don't think they'll be great, but I do want to try it out, and when we did open two boxes of these last time, I gave away the code card, so I was not able to try them out. So... Yes, yeah, so I will be holding on to these codes for myself. And uh, as I struggle to open this box, all right, let's talk about the new rules. Um, these we didn't know these were coming. Uh, shout out to Lou for bubbling up like, hey, these things took effect. And so let's start. Actually, let me just get these out real quick. But uh, all right, rule change number one. First turn basically says you cannot uh, use a supporter. You cannot play a supporter. Obviously, they still can't attack, but uh, yeah, I, I'm all for that. Um, I feel like there are very few situations where you, if you win the coin flip, you go second, and to me, that means that there's an advantage going first, um, so and sometimes it makes a huge deal, so to say that, let's say you're playing like a best of three, and... Or no, let's just say that you always want to go first. That To me, that just means that it has an inherent advantage. So to try to level that playing field more, um, I think it's a good thing. I'm curious to how it will play out. And if, I kind of doubt it, but if the at the end of it is, oh, now you always want to go second. All right, that clearly didn't work. But if there's, if it's basically, you know, if there's reason to go first and second, I feel like that would be a successful change in making that happen. Uh, I feel like there are certain starts. I don't know. I feel like Mewtwo can very have such busted starts. Ooh, reverse grass energy, not bad. Ooh, Mega Venusaur. Okay, we're off to a good start. When you can get a good XY pack, that could be lead to a very good opening. Uh, I feel like yeah, sometimes Mewtwo starts are just so busted they get everything set up, and usually through Welder, like they can do anything next turn. Uh, I play. I've been playing a lot of abilities art. It's not too different. Um, I think last night we hit a ADP deck that had a poor first turn, but I didn't, and I went first and basically double blazed turn two and won the match instantly. So stuff like that. I feel like um, if that can be reduced, and again, if there's not too much of a difference, like if the win rate between going first and second was 50-50, I feel like that's I imagine that's what they're kind of going for here, and if they, we'll see if they can achieve that. All right, let's move on to the next one: weakness and resistance. I don't, I didn't, I don't have too strong of opinion here. Um, if they kind of have a general, like, all right, uh, water types are generally weak to electric instead of grass. Um, ooh, is this the rare? Okay, did that very wrong, and we have a not so good pack coming up. I don't think that's too big of a deal, and they kind of said there will be exceptions to that rule, uh, but in general, that would be the case. Oh, I thought this was the other Absol for a second. Uh, what was the other one? Psychic type, weak to dark instead of psychic. That always kind of makes sense to me, especially if they're going to be moving, like, was it poison to dark? I'm wondering where, like, ghost Pokemon will fall, because I feel like those are supposed to be good against psychic type, and then darkness type will be weak to grass instead of fighting. I actually didn't know that dark types are weak to grass, to be honest. But uh, we'll kind of see how that goes. And I do do like the idea of like general trends um, for a TCG where types, you know, there there are less types in the TCG than there are uh, in Pokemon in general. So to have those kind of trends, I don't feel like is a bad a big deal. Uh, type rearranges. So fairy types are gone. I'm kind of curious as to why that is. Like. Again, to have, um, like, if types were kind of, like, very circular, this is weak to this, which is weak to this, which is weak to this, and it kind of goes in a circle, I kind of like the idea. It's almost kind of like a rock, paper, scissors kind of situation, and why they couldn't make that work with the existing number of types, and why fairy types had to be removed. And I imagine in order to accomplish that, um, there are a lot of Pokemon that just feel in every way, like, oh, this should be a fairy type. To see Sylveon as a Psychic type will just feel weird. Um, although, like, 
it would feel more strange than Glaceon being a water uh, versus a ice type which doesn't exist. Alright, so this first box was pretty bad when our only hit is in XY. I thought that was going to come mean a very solid start, but it meant a very poor box. But uh, we were talking in our Twitch chat, or Twitch stream, last night saying that, alright, does this mean that ADP, for example, might be really strong? That because they're weak to fairy and Guardian was a check against ADP decks, uh, and that will no longer be the case. Um, I kind of doubt that. Well, I will definitely agree on is, and one argument being made was that Zacian uh, V could easily one shot Guardian. So, even though my point was that it's not like Guardian is rotating out, they're not becoming psychic types automatically, it's just that there's no more fairy types going to be printed in the future. And so as long as ADP is out there, Guardian will probably be, I mean, they're not in the same set, but they'll probably, I'm not sure if they'll rotate at the same time. My point is existing fairy types aren't disappearing right away. And, but then potentially with uh, Zacian being potentially added to that deck, maybe that deck will be overpowered. I kind of doubt it. What I will definitely agree on is if one deck is just so much stronger than everything else out there, that that becomes all you find, and that I feel like is definitely a bad thing. I feel like right now it's so fun to play because um, honestly, I can stream for three plus hours and face almost entirely all different decks for the most part. And to me, that's really exciting. That's a very good, exciting meta where there's just a lot of different things that can work. Uh, but if it kind of turns it into, well, ADP or, you know, no chance where there's nothing that can stand up to it, yes, that is definitely a bad thing. Chansey Hollow in this pack. Uh, I kind of doubt that will happen. But yes, that should be avoided. But other than that, I doubt the... I don't see the, you know, the end of fairy typing that bad if it's kind to stabilize the uh the mechanics i'm all for it but i do think it is a loss there is just again a lot of pokemon that you just kind of see and it's like oh that's a fairy type sylveon is the one that comes to mind gardevoir obviously as well all right what else we got card erratas uh a lot of these cards you know i don't really play with so being that i play mainly play standard so all these they make sense to me. Uh, Plentiful Professors. This I actually really like. When we kind of, when they first saw the Professor Magnolia card. First I was like, oh yeah, why is it called, what was it, Pro Professor's Research or something? And it's like, wow, it's the same exact thing as uh, the Sycamore or whatever. The discard and draw, was it six or seven? Um, that I really like. It's like, if you're going to give me the same exact card, as a player, why do I need to purchase these again? And while they do allow you to use like the old switches and stuff like that, why not continue that? If the card, if the effect is going to be the same exact thing, just reprint the card. Um, but you know, the idea is well, we have new professors, we have new all these different things for the new series. All right, we got our first GX and it's a Mega Sableye Tyranitar. Um, so I feel like this is a new way to reprint the same card, but while refreshing the art rebringing out the new like the new gym leaders new trainers and stuff by new professors so i like this and i hope they kind of expand it to a lot of different things let's take i don't know the way i look at it is i've been opening a lot of hidden fates and well also like guzma's printed in burning shadows and like the cynthia's and stuff like that they're just so good and it would be I would be frustrated if they reprinted that card with the same effect, but all my you know max rarity ones I can't use. And now this will allow hopefully if they expand it just beyond professors. Um, my hope is that that would be the case. And so when that effect, if they want to re bring that mechanic back in, you know you can use your older cards that have that same mechanic. So I really like that, and I hope if they basically expand it to beyond professors. Uh, everything else I feel like is pretty non-consequential in my opinion. Pokemon checkup, you know, I feel like they're just formalizing the phases and stuff like that. So if it makes things clear, I'm not sure how it would, but if it does, that's I see as a good thing. Recover, heal, whatever, that's fine. Uh, regulation marks and reminder text removals. I don't really have a 
strong opinion on any of those one way or another. So those are my only thoughts is fairy type. Yes, I do see that as being a loss as far as like the collector side of me, like, you know, this feels like a fairy, it does not feel like a psychic type. Um, first turn, I'm very curious to see. I'm optimistic to how it'll affect the game. And as of right now, I like the idea of it. And ooh, yes. Okay, this second box was worth it. Um, I don't know how much this card goes for, but this is my favorite uh, art. Actually, to be honest, I kind of like the non-rainbow variety. Like, from afar, you can't really tell what's going on here. And I feel like this art is just amazing. It This feels like a movie poster to me. So I'm really happy with that pull. Uh, and we got the rainbow rare, which I guess we'll, we'll, we'll count as a positive. But I think I like the other one better. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be it today. In our next stream, maybe we'll try out this Meowth VMAX. I'm wondering if I could just swap this into my ABZ deck. Basically, we're pressed replace Reshizard with um, a pair of these and obviously we have to get rid of something else. First I thought maybe I could use Ditto Prism Star to evolve but I think Ditto says you can put a stage one and this is very clearly a VMAX and not stage one so unfortunately I don't think that'll work um, but I do want to give it a try. So all right yeah if you have any thoughts about these rule changes I'm curious what you what your opinion is do you like what do you like and what do you don't like and if you have any ideas for how to make Vyoth VMAX work, let me know in a comment down below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. We did hit one big pull out of these boxes, so I'm pretty happy with that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.